of Arts, Humanities and Social Science has always had a strong commitment to reaching out to other communities, to disadvantaged communities, to communities that have become a focus particularly in the context of regeneration. There are three elements in this project having a voice in regeneration and the first one is the production of a newspaper called the Moy Ross Voice and this was done by master's students on the MA in journalism in collaboration with people in the area and the purpose of it was to show Moy Ross in a positive light since much of the coverage of Moy Ross has tended to be negative. The Moy Ross Voice is a 16 page newspaper of news, features, sports, analysis of what's going on in Moiras this week. Yeah, and I'm living actually in the area, I know what's really going on in this area. And it's what it is, it's Moiras is crying out for help. And it's good for people like yourselves to come in here and to take an interest in Moiras. Our students have spent the last two or three weeks interviewing people and um, perfecting their practical skills in news writing, sub-editing, layout and design. We have a newsroom here in the college for the first time. It's been printed um, by the Limerick Leader and will be distributed to all the houses in Moiras, also to the shops around the area and here in the college. Right from the beginning of Regeneration, we saw Limerick University has been a key partner for us as, as part of the process. Uh, we've already built up a reasonable relationship with many of the people in the university. We see them as, as a key asset for regeneration as, as things move on. The second element is a conference for roughly 200 women and with workshops, follow-up workshops over six to nine months. And the purpose of the conference is really capacity building to help the women in the area to engage with the regeneration process, to build solidarity amongst the women and to celebrate their achievements. We've identified women at a national level who head up their organisations. We've identified women at a local level that head up local organisations. And then we've identified women that work very hard in their communities. And we're going to bring all them women together to discuss how they move forward with this social change. We hope that women coming away from this conference will be reassured that without their voice, regeneration will not be what they want it to be. And secondly, that through the process of change that's going to happen over the next number of years, that they will be confident in drawing down the resources of the university to support that change. The third element is basically bringing these ideas, these two elements together, and again, making use of the facilities of the university to provide them with media training so that they can produce their own newspaper, and thus empowering them to do this. By investing in the future of these families and their children, I have no doubt that the day will come when it will be just as natural for a child from Iros to come to the University of Limerick as a child from any other area. And then we will know that regeneration has really been a success.